If you would have asked me what I would be doing as an adult, I would have never believed this. I would never believe this back when I was in the military that I would be able to, you know, be a full-time content creator and being able to be here shooting my YouTube content, doing what I love, having all these cosplays. I never would have thought it. Welcome, my name is Caleb. I also go by Spider-Man in real life on TikTok and Instagram. And this is my introduction to YouTube. And for that, I thought I would do a quick introduction about myself, my passions, who I am, and what got me to the place of creating this YouTube channel based around my love for cosplay and everything superhero and Star Wars related. So let's get started. A little history about myself as a kid. I used to absolutely love to draw and paint. I would come up with a bunch of character concepts and I actually created a couple of uh, full-on books that I would love to have published by DC someday uh, based around the Tim Drake Robin. I'll show you guys some of that art later on, but really as a kid, I used to love to draw and paint and really create suits. I always had just such a love for comic books. I watched all the TV shows. My first introduction to, um, you know, like the Batman lore and just comic books in general was actually the Batman animated series. And I was hooked as soon as I saw that. And that really had me dive deeper into the, the uh, comic books and everything such. So as a kid, I would always be watching the Batman series. As I got older, I started to collect a bunch of comics and I have a pretty big collection now. I have close to four to 5,000. Nothing super rare, just a bunch of stuff I, I like to read. I would like to say I've read almost all of the Batman stuff up until about 2012 as I started to get a little bit older and uh, started to kind of get out of the comic book scene itself because you know how it gets when you get older. I had a big passion for art and in saying I actually scored the highest in my high school AP class and got some college credits for art but you know I just decided that I didn't know if it, being an artist would work full-time so I decided to join the military actually served four years as a, a United States Navy sailor worked on the flight decks over in Virginia and did a couple tours uh, out in the Middle East and let me tell you it is hot it was not for me I realized pretty quickly and so I got out of the Navy was once my uh, term was up and I decided to go to school for a while got my associates in arts and I was uh, going to go to school to continue and be a comic graphic designer. And I just started looking into the film industry and realized, man, I don't think this is where my heart is. I don't think this is where my passion is. I don't think that I will excel here. And so I decided to move my attention to uh, fitness. You know, fitness became one of my second loves. You know, my first love was comic books and, co and you know, everything such. And fitness, once I joined the military, had really taken over my life and done so much positive for me. So I decided, hey man, why not become a personal trainer? I started to go to school for it, I got certified, and then I was, uh, 2019 was the year, and I was like, you know, how can I grow my sphere of influence, you know? And I had tickets to San Diego Comic Con, I had gone as Robin the year prior, had a great time, and I was like, what superhero could I portray or look like? and uh, do a good job of that. So I thought about it pretty pretty hard, and I was like, you know what, I'm gonna do Spider-Man. Everyone loves Spider-Man. I was like, I kinda have the Peter Parker look, and I do a lot of like flips, and you know, I'm kind of, like, have that funny, kind of charismatic, sarcastic attitude that Peter Parker has. So I was like, Peter Parker it is. The best part about this story is I had like, four months before I was going to go to Comic-Con, and to be honest, I had really let my own, um, my own fitness goals kind of go to waste. I hadn't really been working out as hard and I realized like this is what I want to do and I literally went all in. I got on a really good diet. I was working out every day and I was so motivated to be in the best shape of my life to go to this Comic Con event. And guess what happened? Luckily I was. I was in great shape. I had a freaking blast. I'll be honest. San Diego Comic Con 2019 changed my life forever. That's where I really realized my passion and love for cosplay. It was all there. I had just met some of the most amazing people, had an amazing time, dancing my 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 life away, just having a freaking blast. And I realized, man, this is what I want to do. So I figured out a way of how can I, you know, use my influence in art, my love for cosplay and fitness, and create a career out of this. I actually had been 
uh, over that next coming year, I had a design to create my own fitness app. And I wanted to I wanted to gear it towards cosplayers because you know I've been at a lot of these events and a lot of people are not in the best of shape and they're not that confident in themselves. For me, I feel like once you learn or have a skill with or, or something that you can share with others, it is your obligation to share it with the world to you you know help other people be more confident to be better or to feel better in their skins to feel like the superhero they're dressed up as. And so that's why I decided to actually create my fitness app, which is called Spidey Fit. Put a lot of time and effort into it. And I currently am sitting on about a 500 monthly subscribers. Really cool. I recommend go checking it out in the app store. And it's um, one of my passions. But I was like, how can I keep growing my page? How can I keep, you know, moving on to being more than just Spider-Man? And with that being said, I actually started to invest a lot more time and effort into other characters that I also loved. I went all in, you know, and, and ultimately to see some sort of success, you have to, to create a goal for yourself, you have to have a vision, and you have to put in the work necessary to make that vision a reality. And so I have been working nonstop at creating quality content and trying to move myself up so that I can be, you know, one of the biggest cosplayers out there. I don't do it for, you know, the fame or anything, I do it because I know that this is just a part of the journey that's going to lead me to a further level of success. I have gone all in. I purchased a Mandalorian suit that you guys you guys will be seeing very soon. I'll have an unboxing. A Daredevil suit that's coming soon. Captain America, I have a few different costumes. Um, and then I also have Robin, Superboy, and like 10 other Spider-Man suits. So I just realized that why create art something that I draw out of my head when I can physically create a piece of art and make it into real life. And so to me, that's what I look at cosplay as, you know, as a representation of what I used to see as a kid on those comic book panels and bringing that to life. Literally, it brings me so much happiness every time I get to put on the suits and, you know, I, I truly feel like the hero. And I think that that's one thing that I want to share with other people and other cosplayers because there's thousands, hundreds of thousands of people that do this. And how can I help other people when they put on that suit, they really feel like they're Spider-Man or they feel like whoever it is that they're cosplaying as. And that's my goal is to spread positivity, love in the cosplay community and just have a great time doing it. You know, um, I would rather live my life in passion than you know, a what if, or, you know, like, I'm so glad I took the steps here to grow and to move forward and to do what I love. I'm literally doing what I love with the cosplay and I just can't wait to share all of this uh, journey with you guys. I want you guys to be a part of it and I'm so ecstatic to be here with you guys right now. I can't believe, looking back a year ago, how much my life has drastically changed, you know? From being able to purchase a full on camera, set up, everything in my room, like all it takes is the necessary steps for you to see success. And I hope that's something that you can you can do for yourself. Really thankful for all the support I've received over these last few months. It's really been inc incredible, man. And it's just shown me that life can be what you make it. For me, I decided to make this my life, to make the cosplay, to be an influencer and live this sort of lifestyle. I would never believe this back when I was in the military that I would be able to you know, be a full-time content creator and being able to be here shooting my YouTube content, doing what I love, having all these cosplays. I never would have thought it, you know? Um, if you just put in the effort, if you just believe in yourself, anything and everything is attainable. And so I wanted to create this YouTube to show a little bit about myself a little bit deeper connection than just you know a quick 20 second video on Instagram or TikTok or a little picture that you see here and there. I wanted to give you guys a inside look about who I am, what I stand for, and what I love, you know? And so I think that you guys are going to love this journey that we're going to embark upon. I have a ton of new suits coming um, and I will be doing a bunch of different reveals for those suits as well. I just can't wait, I'm going to I have so many things planned out for the rest of my life for 2021 and I can't wait to share everything with you guys. So it would mean a lot guys if you liked, commented and shared this with some of your friends 
um, as it really helps increase my exposure, especially with being a brand new YouTuber. Uh, I hope that you guys really embark upon this journey of a little bit of an inside look of my life my love and my passion for cosplay and everything nerdy. We're gonna really get it cracking and it's gonna be, this is a start to the next journey, uh, the next path that I'm embarking upon that's hopefully gonna lead me to, you know, the success that I've honestly dreamed about, you know? I've always known like this, that I was different than other people, that I was going to do, do different things to bring me success and I never imagined it to be this and I can't think of, uh, anything else that I'd rather it be. So I hope that you're willing to embark on that. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure to like this video as it helps a lot. And I will see you guys very soon. Um, be on the lookout for some awesome new content coming your way. I will talk with you soon. Peace out. <laughs>